what's happening crypto fam happy happy monday happy first of march good morning and welcome back to love for crypto i'm scott it's a pleasure to have you here appreciate taking the time out to consume the content so thank you today's the day mate today's the day mary update mary hard fork on cardano oh yes buzzing not that I know exactly what it's going to do for us. We're going to read this now because I've had a lot of questions of what it's going to do. And, 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 and as far as I'm aware, it makes it a multi-asset platform and introduces NFTs. Now, we're going to be doing a lot of digging into it today to see what's actually going on and see what people have started doing on it. So stay tuned for a latter video. This one is going to be going through Elliot Hill's um, article and brief description of what mary will mean for cardano i've just shared it on a facebook so if you want to go and read it yourself feel free you want to hear me read it and then hear my thoughts stay tuned we'll get on it Ooh. he is they're coming on i'm getting warmer it's cold this morning the cardano blockchain is poised to enter a phase of significant change at the end of February. For the first time in our protocol's history, users will be able to define their own custom tokens through the multi-asset ledger, adding a new layer of functionality and utility to the Cardano blockchain. This is worth noting. <clears throat> It doesn't mean everyone's just going to be able to go on and be like, boom, you have an ERC-20 type token on Cardano. Not everyone's going to be able to go on and just go, boom, you've got an ERC-721 type NFT token on Cardano. I'd imagine when it happened with Ethereum and it got a little update that everyone couldn't just go on, most people are copying um, the ERC-20 principles and whatnot and the actual protocols just to get the bare minimum and get a token out there. They don't actually understand what they're doing when they're creating the token. So, it's going to be made possible through the Mary Hard Fork. One of the most important events to occur on the Cardano blockchain since the rollout of Shella in July 2020. As part of the wider rollout of Goldwyn, Mary presents a step change for Cardano delivering long-awaited Cardano components to our community. Named after the mother of our native token's namesake, Ada, Mary Lovelace, the Mary Hard Fork, will be facilitated by Input Output Hong Kong's Hard Fork Combinator. This will handle the seamless transition from Cardano's current mainnet to Mary. And for, for the general adder holder, no user actions will be required. <coughs> Fist pump. Yeah. We will be publishing user-friendly FAQs about Mary closer to the time, but here we're going to discover some of the things that you will notice with the arrival of Mary on Cardano and explore Mary's potential impact in our ecosystem. Below, we're going to look at what impact it will have on our ecosystem and community. What impact will the Mary Hard Fork have on the Cardano ecosystem? What has actually people... Expecting the expecting the Ethereum killer to rise from the update. We know that native assets and tokens will soon arrive, soon arrive on Cardano, but what can they be used for? Like other blockchains, tokens will be a central and core part of many decentralized applications launching on Cardano. <laughs> This is likely to take the form of utility tokens, governance tokens, and tokens representing real-world assets. The important thing to remember is that while smart contracts are arriving shortly and will form an important part of our ecosystem, they are not required to create a native token on Cardano. This means that as soon as the Mary Hard Fork is complete, you can create a user-defined native token on Cardano and begin using your newly created assets. Native assets could be used to mint non-fungible tokens or NFTs, which can be used to represent a huge range of unique real-world and digital assets. For example, an NFT could be minted which represents a fractional equity stake in a forestry biodiversity initiative. This could be traded on digital asset exchanges and held by those looking to offset their carbon footprint via the Cardano blockchain. Interesting. 
Alternatively, a Cardano-based NFT could be used for creating unique works of digital art stored on a blockchain forever. Such NFTs have seen growing popularity among blockchain enthusiasts lately with you, ooh, utility in both online gaming and the world of collectibles. You're damn right. Online gaming one's huge, guys, and we, we, we keep saying that. We keep saying how big the online gaming one is. Collectibles. See, collectibles in capes, everything. How big's your gaming community? How big's your geek community with your superheroes? How big's your, your kids' community with air toys and all that? All them communities are absolutely massive, and they all have one thing in common. They do collectibles. They are valuable toys. Not toys that you're just going to want to throw away. Toys that you ain't even want to get out of the box, mate. You ain't even going to want to get them out of the box, bro. Leave them in the box for 10 years, and I'm... Millennium Falcons buying a house, that's all I'm saying. <clears throat> so we previously explored what decentralized finance would look like on Cardano and native tokens are also an important step on this journey. Native tokens represent stable coins, wrapped assets and lending protocol utility tokens. We'll all be instrumental in bringing the world of DeFi to Cardano. What impact could the Mary Hard Fork have on the wider world? Blockchain adoption is accelerating. I think we can all agree that. We all agree with that first line. It is accelerating somewhat rotten. We're seeing new all-time highs, all highs all the time. We're seeing Elon, Michael Saylor, all that stuff happening. CBDC is moving forward and whatnot. But with accelerating adoption, it means many new users are entering our ecosystem recently. We have had many discussions about how we can bring users from emerging economies, especially those on the African continent, into the blockchain ecosystem. Native tokens available through the Mary Hard Fork could be one of the first features on Cardano that can be tailored for financially underserved communities. Let's imagine a token is created that represents a regional level exchange of value for nations with a highly inflationary national currency. These tokens could be used to pay for local goods and services without the need to use traditional limited bartering systems or trading in physical goods. The impact and power of such a user-defined currency could be the difference between a sub a subsidence farmer increasing their market access with the local area through easier access to liquid capital, or it could empower a young artist in a small village to successfully make a career out of their talents by selling their art to a global audience through digital tokens. Native tokens could also make it easier for individuals in emerging economies to take payments for services from overseas. Native tokens paired to fiat currencies as a stable coin such as TEV or USDT could facilitate the instant cross-jurisdiction settlement of assets. This would make it easier for a freelancer from Venezuela, for example, to accept a US dollar stable coin without waiting for lengthy bank settlement times and avoiding volatility. By giving every user the ability to generate user-defined tokens on Cardano, Mary opens the door to a long list of new applications, limited only by the user's imaginations. This holds a potential to empower those in emerging economies through the affordable and borderless nature of Cardano native tokens, while simultaneously alleviating the pain points associated with user-friendly tokens on existing blockchain protocols. <sighs> <clears throat> it is it, it's interesting as fuck me and the next bit what features will mary deliver this is going to get peeps excited the most important part of the mary hard fork will be the orderly transition of cardano from a single asset ledger supporting only ada into a multi-asset ledger this will introduce support for multiple diverse user-friendly tokens on Cardano. <clears throat> but what will this look like in practice? In short, it means that you'll begin to notice new assets being exchanged on the Cardano blockchain, like ERC20 tokens that can be created and transacted on the Ethereum network. Excuse me, native tokens will open up similar functionality for Cardano albeit with some fundamental differences and improvements. 
<laughs> As your face, right? As your face. As your face, right? Fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the components required to create native tokens on Cardano arrived in our earlier hard fork. Allegra. This included redeeming and burning tokens, sending tokens, writing monetary scripts, and minting new tokens. Now, through Mera, this integration will be finalized, and Cardano's Rosetta API um, will be updated for multi asset support. Our engineering partners, IOH. IOHK recently published an article that deep dives into some of the technical aspects of Mera. We're anticipating that the Mary Hard Fork will be an historic event for the Cardano blockchain. Now that's all left to you. Native tokens on Cardano are user defined. This means that our community is free to unleash their creativity and entrepreneurship when deploying tokens. So, what will you build? Will you launch an NFT? Create a utility token for a unique dApp. Explore DeFi possibilities. Let <laughs> Legitimately, let me know in the comments what you're excited about on, on ADA. Are you excited for cheap NFTs? Are you excited to get your a currency um, off the ground? We made LFNT as an ERC20 token to test the Ethereum network and blockchain. And it is super, super expensive. Then test ended there. They they ended there, bro. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit here. The, the, the LFNT token tests hit a gas wall, mate. Would have just got to the point where I'm like, I'm not paying them fees to move it. I'm not paying them fees to swap it. And I'm not paying them fees to supply liquidity for it. So Ethereum can get... <laughs> and shove it. Because I'm done. I'm done. Rareable and the rest of them, they're all... Just seem to be charging too much, so I'm interested now in what what Cardano's prices come through. I have actually had someone send me a cheeky little screenshot of a certain amount of aid or that it's supposed to cost to mint an NFT. If that's the case, we should have about 50 of them made by later so later on. <laughs> now, but real talk, we could legitimately be making 10 to 20, 30 NFTs on Cardano in the next few days, which we've been unable to do on any other platform simply because. We wasn't willing to pay the costs. Now, the cost can go straight on to the value of the NFT, but is someone going to pay that? Is it worth that? Just because you're going to pay that cost to create it doesn't mean someone else is going to be willing to pay that cost on top of your profit to then own that NFT and asset. People need to be extremely careful with what they do moving forward with regards to how much they pay to mint them. Yeah, I think it's super exciting times. We've also been testing the beta, the flare beta, beta, the flare beta, and that looks like it's going to be cheap. If it stays the same as it is there now, it is extremely cheap. Um, go on Instagram, find a flare post, look in the description and the comments, the link to the Discord. Uh, use it quick because it only lasts a day. So use it before that post is 24 hours old and get in a Discord. If not, just give us a shout or find a Flare Discord and the, it's there on how to get into the Flare beat or is within that. Um, I'm proper excited about Cardano now. I wanted to do a live stream about Flare and how to get set up on it. And I'm probably going to later on, but it'll just be the first. The first little bit will be about how to get set up on Flare and then we're going to start talking about Cardano and kind of like... Hopefully, maybe even have a look at both of them at the same time and see which one's the best for the use cases we want and the functionality we want. Super exciting times. We got Crypto Punk UK on coil last night. Anyone else wants to monetize their business, wants to monetize their life, wants to become their own bank, isn't quite sure about it, give us a shout. We've got some workshops, some memberships, and all sorts coming out soon um, this year through DLT Con Limited and the conferences. So exciting times. I'm excited for this COVID shit to just be over, to be able to start planning and plotting, and to actually move forward with it now. So smile, get up here, and enjoy your week. Do your best to enjoy your week. Yeah. 
Investing in yourself, investing in internet of value, live long and oddly all till you're ready to let it go. Yeah. Wishing health and happiness to you and yours. And until next time, peace.